Hey everybody, right here I've got a Raspberry Pi and a S7200 PLC CPU 222 for those who are uh, cared to mo the model number. I've got it connected to my Raspberry Pi via a switch over here and um, I'm going to show you it uh, communicating with it via Python. So I'm going to sit it here. I've got my screen. I'm putting it into my pie up there. I'm going to actually try to bring it down lower. Just hit enter a bunch of times so we can see it on both. Um, and then we're going to watch it in action. I forked the Python Snap 7 and modified it, fixed it so it would work with 200s and hopefully logos. I don't have a logo so I can't test it. But those PLCs that require a TSAP connection will hopefully work after they merge my pull request. Um, I'll leave a link for my forked Python Snap 7 if you want to install it. Um, let's get an example going. I've got Python going here. Um, I created a S7200 library that makes it so we can communicate easier with it using memory addresses instead of trying to, well, using a syntax that you would use in an OPC server. Um, so, pdocs S7 underscore 200. That's not a seven. Okay. Um, right here you have your TSAPs. You can barely see it behind the PLC. This is, this is my local TSAP and then this will be my remote TSAP. And then I'm gonna turn debug on. So you can see if it connects. Um, There, you can see it's connected. We say plc.writemem qx0.0. So we're going to turn input 1 on, or 0, as some may call it. Um, enter. See the light turned on here on the PLC. I heard a relay click. I'm going to turn it off real fast. I'm going to try to hit the button real soft so you might be able to hear it on the video. There you go. Um, PLC dot, let's see, read, no, not read, get mem, f real 10, let's print it to the screen, I'll try to get this out of the way, so it's got a real of 0, 0.0 in that memory location, I'm going to put something awesome in it. Um, I'm going to put pi there. 3.14, And barely can see there. So that, um, those characters are debug characters I had in there. Um, but let's get the mem again of 10. And there it is. You can see the precision's not quite all there when you convert it to a reel, but you can at least get to the sixth decimal, I believe. Um, anyway, I hope this helps people that have had problems with the 200, and especially Raspberry Pi. Um, these are you can use these as remote I.O. now, these older PLCs with a, front, a web front end or, or something. Or, or if you want to try to make a Raspberry Pi HMI panel. Um, thank you for watching. If there are any questions, let me know.